Welcome back guys, you are watching with us together. Many of you people are continuously asking me a lot of doubts even personally and through the comment section about the counselling process. But what if I tell you that most of you aren't aware of the complete roadmap which you need to follow or the steps taken in this particular counselling process which will end up with a seat for you in your respective engineering college. So that is one thing which I thought of addressing through a dedicated video and this video will be serving the same need that is I will be going through each and every uh, stage of your counseling process which you will need to face through after your results and for this as a reference let me tell you in order to refer the KEA's official website and in the same way when you click on admissions you should be entering previous year's examinations and then when you enter UGCET 2022 you will be getting series of events that took place in 2022 that is during our year when I was one among the students who were applying for seats through KEA and that is one thing which will help you a lot in order to understand what will be the events which will be taking place now for you guys that is for KCT 2023 aspirants after your results have been just out. For more such videos for all the updates and tips and tricks about your option entry and ultimately in order to make your counselling journey smooth and more exciting I will be with you in each and every step of yours by uploading videos consistently and the same way will be there in touch with you through our telegram group which is there exclusively for KCT 2023 aspirants whose link also has been provided in the description so make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you will ensure that you never miss out any important information that you need to know when you are someone who is a part of this wonderful counseling process with that note let's start this video guys yes when you just go through the roadmap which has been followed by them during UGCT 2022 you should be understanding the fact that the major event which is ahead of you after the release of your results is the document verification and let me tell you that I have already uploaded a dedicated video which will give you an overview about what actually is document verification for KCT students and whether it is going on in online and offline mode and I have given clarity about the documents which you have to take also in that video itself so make sure that you watch that video if you haven't watched it yet and if you are someone who is looking for Canada content on the same then that also have been uploaded in my channel itself last year so make sure that you check out that itself so that you'll be able to gather some information about it at this juncture let me tell you that it takes place in both the modes that is online and offline certain documents have to be verified offline since they can't be verified online so the documents such as your marks cards and mark sheets of 10th and 12th and all that can be taken from the database of your respective boards and can be verified by them itself but documents such as study certificate rural certificate and the canada medium certificate which gives you extended which gives you extended privilege should be verified offline and for that reason I have already uploaded a video last year wherein I attended my offline document verification and about the honest experience of what things which I went through during that particular time it has been uploaded and you can just check it out in my popular videos section too. Once your document verification gets over the next major thing in front of you is to check your RD number status so that is one thing which many people falter during KCT 2022 guys so there will be a lot of opportunities given to you in order to set your RD number right cause RD number plays a major role in order to verify your cash certificate and your income certificate and in the same way many other certificates too when it comes to special privileges given and that is why you guys have to be very very careful while you upload your RD number if you are someone who has faltered in it while you are applying for your exam initially then there will be provision to you in order to change that RD number and get that verified as soon as possible and last time KEA had fortunately given more than two chances in order to change their RD numbers and that is one initiative which they took which I liked a lot and that helped many people and then comes a stage wherein people who claim for special quota or many reservations have to submit their respective documents to the KEA itself and that will be happening in person and I'll be coming up with a video on that particular thing too and then once you have just completed verifying all your documents and once KEA gets an idea that all the documents which you claim to have are right and once they get verified you will be getting the verification slip yes guys you guys may have heard this term verification slip which is very important when it comes to the counseling process and even we were very much curious about this particular verification slip during our times and I have already uploaded a video in which I have showed you how a verification slip looks like so that is nothing but an authentication or a statement which tells you that your documents have been verified successfully and you are 
eligible in order to enter the option entry which is ultimately the direct gateway for your dream college and uh, talking about your option entry that is quite quite important i and even i understand the importance of it in your lives too so for that reason i'll be coming up with series of videos in which i'll be discussing what the tricks or what tips you can inculcate during your option entry or while making your list of colleges which will help you or which will contribute in making the chances of you getting a seat in your dream college higher and higher and as i told you earlier rather than regretting or rather than thinking of the results which have come already you should be thinking of what things you can inculcate during your option entry process which will help you get a seat in a college which is the best or in a college and the branch which is the best possible college or branch for your particular rank and if you just manage to get a seat or a college and a branch which is the best possible thing for your particular rank then that is what we call success in ke cet counseling guys and then in the option entry there will be a mock round mock round is just a round which will happen like a kind of rehearsal which we do during our programs it will just give you an idea of what is this process and how the algorithm works and in order to give you an idea about where you stand and what colleges may get allotted to you in the first round so once the mock round gets over the results will be coming and once you check it you need not worry guys even in mock round even i hadn't uh, got the college or the seat which i have got right now and you should be waiting for the subsequent rounds i'll be coming up with many videos about option entry as i told you earlier and i'll be talking about this over there so now in order to brief you over the option entry process yes option entry takes place and then the mock rounds results come and then the important the first round uh, takes place and the first round results will be released and then you will have four choices in your hand and let me tell you for now you just need not take attention about these four choices and all i will be coming up with specific videos on the same for the need of the hour during that particular time and then talking about your second round the results will come in the same fashion and you will be able to see what colleges or what seats have been allotted to you and if you are again not satisfied then you can just enter the third round or the second extended round which we call again there is a big myth running around in the minds of kct aspirants that the second extended round will take place only if there are vacant seats no guys it has been taking place since the past 4 to 5 years according to my knowledge and i'm pretty sure that it will be taking place this year too so you need not take tension about that particular fact then once your uh, results will be coming like the results which you have got more than that the results which you get over there in the subsequent rounds of your counseling will become really important guys and i am pretty sure that all of you guys deserve only the best in this world and i hope you will be getting the best possible college or this branch which deserves your rank through that you will be able to end this counseling process on a high note and then you will be able to enter your next phase of your life which is really important and in the same way much more exciting so make sure that you participate in all the events which take place as part of kes counseling then and there itself you need not uh, wait for the uh, reappearing of that particular event cause many people do that and if kea fails to give another chance then you will be in difficulties i don't want any student who is a part of our beautiful community in order to face difficulty like that so that is the reason i have been telling you guys to be very very careful about this counseling process and through that let me wish you all the very best for your upcoming counseling process guys i hope you enjoyed this particular video and even i enjoyed a lot while i was making this video cause at that again gave me a nostalgic feeling about what things had happened during my kct 2022 and if you feel the same then make sure that you hit the like button cause that will give me a lot of motivation to upload same kind of videos in the coming future If you have any kind of doubts then you can just reach out to me through the comment section or through the telegram group which i already told you whose link has been provided in the description with that note this is darshan skoda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye